the JAMA Network. Each year in the United States, about 130,000 people are diagnosed with the most common form of lung cancer. About 20 years ago, researchers found what's called an oncogene, which has the potential to cause cancer. In tumor cells, oncogenes often become damaged or altered. That damaged gene makes certain proteins, and those proteins become absolutely critical to the growth of that cancer cell. Targeting these proteins with specific medications can spare the normal cells while attacking the cancer cells. Dr. Mark Chris from Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center and co-authors tested lung tumors for these oncogenes at 14 hospitals across the country. Over three years, they identified drivers of these genes in more than 1,000 patients. We had this vision that we could test the tumors of patients at the time they were diagnosed. We could test for 10 of these oncogenes that we know uh, underlie lung cancer. We were able to find one of those driver oncogenes in 64% of the patients, and in 28% uh, of the patients, we were able to choose a therapy based on that information. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. The patients with drivers that received treatment, they had a uh, median survival of about three and a half years. For those patients that had drivers and uh, did not receive uh, these targeted therapies, their median survival was uh, about a year less. The multiplex testing uses a sequencer that can examine hundreds of genes quickly, efficiently, and cost-effectively. There is more information that we can gain from tumor tissue than we could a decade ago. And not just in a research setting, but in any hospital setting. And doctors use that information to decide the best care. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.